Hey everyone, so I've never done a favourites vlog before but I've always watched people do them and thought that they looked like a lot of fun so I'm going to try one out today. At the end of this video I'm going to let you know how you can let me know which fashion products from this video that you like and which you don't like so make sure you stick around. So let's start with this blue shirt from Warehouse I absolutely love. It's 100% cotton but it does crease like linen. I'm a huge, huge fan of shirts. I'll wear shirts on stage or just casually. And so when I saw this in baby blue, obviously blue's gonna be really big in spring, but you do see blue everywhere for spring collections in shops and things like that. So I think it's probably gonna be quite an on-trend color. I'm not qualified to say that. This is just my opinion, okay? So I had to pick this up. Really love this from Warehouse. So carrying on with the fashion theme, I got these loafers from Office. I really like that they're tan. I like the brogue detail on the front and the tassels. And that kind of thing, that kind of shape of shoe for me just means I can wear them with jeans and weird little dresses. And that's what I want from a shoe. Flexibility. <laughs> so the jewelry that I'm wearing right now is in this spring lookbook that I was talking about at the beginning of the video. This pendant necklace is from Mint Velvet and I really, really like all of the pendant necklaces from Mint Velvet. I think they're really lovely. And this bracelet with a heart charm is a silver mini belcher bracelet from Lynx of London. I wear this every single day and just love it. So for those of you who saw my vlog where I got two new guitars, you'll realize that I have one guitar right now that doesn't have a strap. So I went to York to a music shop to buy this guitar strap. And I was looking around and I saw some really heavily padded ones and some really thin ones, but this seemed to be exactly what I wanted and I've been really impressed with it. It looks quite thin, but it's really high quality leather, really, really comfortable. And I paid a lot of money for a strap that I had in the past so that I knew it would be comfortable. And this is a lot less money and it's as comfortable. So I really would recommend this. And it's black, so it goes with most of the clothes that I wear on stage are black as well, to be fair. So yeah, I really love this. Levy's black leather guitar strap. This stuff is highly addictive. So this stuff I just discovered recently, Lotus Biscoff Spread. It's crunchy, it's based on those caramelised biscuits. I don't know if you have them where you're watching this, but here in England, we like to have a Lotus caramelised biscuit. I think there's a little picture of one there, actually with a cup of tea and it's just delicious. It's amazing. In terms of music, my favorite song by far right now is called King and it's by a band called Years and Years. I'm so obsessed with this song. Every time I hear it on the radio or on TV or just out and about, it makes me want to dance. I just absolutely love it. I think it's a great tune. So I'll put the link to that video in the description below and you can check out that song and tell me if you like it. Moving on to something a little bit different. When I was in America earlier this month, I came across these soaps by a little company called Sugar and Oats. These are made in Miami in the USA and I think these are just brilliant. So these soaps are natural, 100% handmade vegan soaps. And although I'm not vegan, I can appreciate a good vegan soap. This one is the papaya ginger and this has in it distilled water, olive oil, coconut oil, papaya, Australian pink clay, shea butter, rose petals, nothing bad in there. It's 100% organic and it smells amazing. This is why I picked it up. When I was looking around at the sugar and oats soap, the lovely woman who was selling these soaps called Nina gave me this one, which is the best seller for sugar and oats. And this is called charcoal. This is for exfoliating and purifying the skin. This has in it, it's all 100% organic again, but it has in a lot of more essential oils, shea butter, cocoa butter, and it smells amazing. But I think this one is more kind of rejuvenating for revitalizing the skin. Whereas the one that I just showed you smells gorgeous and smells kind of like a relaxing luxury bath. I feel like I'm doing something good to my skin when I use this. I feel like I'm just kind of indulging a bit when I use the other one. My favorite film right now is probably still Interstellar. When I saw that, it just blew my mind and I've seen it again recently and I thought it was amazing. I really loved Inception, which is why I thought I would like it and 
it was amazing so I definitely recommend you to check that one out. I went to the cinema last week to see Still Alice and I thought that Julianne Moore's performance was amazing. It's a film about Alzheimer's and the early onset of Alzheimer's and I just found it really moving. I thought that it ended too soon but I don't know whether that's a sign of it was a great film so I wanted to watch more of it or what but I would definitely recommend you seeing that. I thought it was really an awesome film. I'm going to finish this favourites vlog off with this beauty product. This is Dermalogica Special Cleansing Gel. Now this is a bit more money than I would usually spend on a face wash. However, since using this, I think I've been using this for about a year now, I literally think that this stuff is amazing. What I was doing wrong basically was I'd get bad skin and I would want it to be good obviously and so I'd over clean it and take away the oils that I really needed. I would highly recommend this. This has really worked for me so I think it's amazing. Of the fashion items featured in this vlog, you can tell me which ones you love and which ones you hate via a new app on the Apple App Store or from Google Play Store. You can download this app really easily to your phone and it will show all of my spring lookbook. Once you've downloaded this app, go to Editor's Choice at the bottom. Scroll down just a little bit and that will bring you to my spring lookbook. So we're now looking at my lookbook. You can click straight on the item if you like it and see how much it is and where it's from and everything like that. But it basically works like Tinder. If you like it, you swipe to the right and if you don't like it, you swipe to the left. So obviously everything that I've put in here I really like. So I'm going to swipe to the right. It's really cool for me that the edit has chosen my spring lookbook and actually agrees with some of my fashion picks, which is great because I'm not a fashion expert, I just like what I like. Let me know if you like what I like or if you hate it, I would like to know. Thanks so much for watching this vlog, if you liked it please leave me a thumbs up so I will know that you liked it. And in the comments section below let me know if you want to see more favourites videos or more music and guitar type vlogs and I am in the studio for like every other day right now writing new songs and recording so that's all going really well and I'm really enjoying it and I'm going to give you some more behind the scenes footage very soon but until then I will speak to you later.